Let's talk Greek mythology for a second. In my opinion, there's nothing mythological about it. Here we have Hercules, who was a demigod, and Newt, who was a centaur. Follow my line of thinking for a second. In Genesis, okay, so we have um, the sons of God saw that the daughters of man, that they were fair, and they took them as wives of all which they chose. A couple lines later, it says, there were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, which the sons of God, which we just talked about, came unto the daughters of man. So they created giants, a.k.a. demigods, fallen angels, which are gods, lowercase g's. What's that? Demigods? Okay, got it? Let's go down a few more lines in that same chapter of Genesis. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping things and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. So here's my thought. If the fallen angels were sleeping with women, human DNA doesn't mix with animal DNA to create this, but fallen angel DNA might, then you would get, what, half beast and half human. And God's already said he's upset about making animals as well. Animals and bugs? What could that be? Could it be fairies? Hmm? Think that uh, the fallen angels didn't just do human women. And beasts. Everything that God made, he saw that it was good. Everything was good. And then the fallen angels decided they wanted to have their way with the humans, possibly the bugs and the animals too. Or they did something. I'm not saying they penetrated them, but they did something which creates all that stuff. So all that Greek mythology BS isn't mythology at all, is it? Seems to me it's based on the Bible and the fallen angels hooking up. Know what I'm saying?